Good evening. You're watching the news from the CYBC in Nicosia. With the dust from what many view as yesterday's electoral upset gradually settling, the two first round winners today began contacts with the political forces left out of next Sunday's runoff, even though neither candidate missed the chance to launch an opening as soon as the results were finalised last night. Analytically, and with the entire vote having been counted and tallied before 8 o'clock, this is Ioannis Kasolidis clinched the lead with 33.51%, with the girls Dimitris Christophias only marginally behind with 33.29%. And of the three main contenders, incumbent Dasos Babadobolos tailing the first by almost two percentage points with 3179 and being eliminated from the second round. In addition, however, to the sea and Edgel contacts with the leaderships of the Evec and the European Party, the Greens, all of which endorsed the incumbent, intra-party meetings are also on the agenda in the lead-up to Sunday's runoff round. Addressing supporters soon after the final results were announced last night, the C candidate called on all those believing that it's time for Cyprus to become a modern and European state to align themselves with him. To those who believe, Ioannis Kasolidis proclaimed that the only way forward as regards the Cyprus issue is through aggressive diplomacy. I say join me and let us proceed hand in hand together. The VC candidate also issued a call for all to turn their sights forward in order to, as he said, achieve development, social justice and equal opportunities and emphasised that Cyprus should, at long last, strengthen its international presence. Further congratulating all his opponents, and specifically Dimitris Christophios, with whom he'll be facing off in the second round, Ioannis Kasolidis also extended particular thanks to, and voiced respect for, Datos Babadobolos, who, as he said, is a politician with history who always served his country in the way he thought best. On the Agel front, Dimitris Christophia sought to point out that this coming Sunday will see the people being asked to respond to a crucial dilemma concerning the direction and content of any initiatives aimed at a just, viable and functional solution to the Cyprus issue. Also speaking soon after last night's final results were announced, the Agel leader gave the assurance that he will never accept a solution not satisfying the basic principles formulated through the years, and that he will always stand fast, consistently and agree aggressively for the rights of the Cypriot people. While in a message to the Turkish Cypriots in particular, he noted that existing relations between the two communities, built through years of struggles, will be made maximum use of. In closing and congratulating all his first round opponents, the Agel leader also extended particular thanks to Dasos Babadobolos, noting that the incumbent and he, despite any disagreements, waged long and hard battles together. Firmly in a regulatory position, meanwhile, and before either of the two front runners came out with their respective statements, Cyprus's outgoing president sought to congratulate both Ioannis Kasulidis and Dimitris Christophias. Also extending thanks to those who entrusted him with their vote, as well as the parties which endorsed him, Thassos Babadobolos noted that the people have reached their decision and their verdict will be treated with the utmost respect. Referring to his five years in office, the incumbent said that he always spoke candidly, adding that his every thought, decision and action was guided only by love for his country and concern for the people. While he also sought to emphasize that the worries he expressed during the election campaign were absolutely sincere, with the Cyprus issue developments on the horizon necessitating alertness and wariness on the part of the people. In closing, Dafos Babadobolos noted that he will always be present in person at the side of the people for, as he said, our Cyprus. On to international news, with yesterday's unilateral declaration of independence by Kosovo being today greeted by the United States and the breakaway province's official recognition. Issuing a relevant announcement during an official visit to Tanzania, George W. Bush said that Kosovars are now independent, adding that this is something both he and his administration have been supporting for years now. On the European Union front, Kosovo's unilateral declaration of independence this afternoon formed the focus of an EU foreign minister's meeting, with reliable sources disclosing that most member states are prepared to recognize the secessionist entity, even though Spain, Greece, Slovakia, Cyprus, Bulgaria and Romania had all openly voiced their intent not to do so prior to the meeting. 
Albanian Kosovars, meanwhile, who make up 90% of the province's populace, spent most of the night celebrating their parliament's decision. Even in Serbia itself, the U.S. Embassy in Belgrade was the scene of incidents during a protest by local residents.